And hey folks, it is I, Kamikaze. We're back to continue hey, playing the Life is Strange. I almost said The Last of Us. Oops. And you didn't even move your mouth when you were saying that, but hello. Lauren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. Wait. Oh, yeah. Should I thank him? Yeah, might as well. By the way... Thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully and it was awesome. I want to see his face. Hopefully he got some hits said back. Bully and ran off with that girl. She's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? Just a pirate. Arr! An old friend. Chloe Price, we haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? Because he loves me like everyone else. Let's get him involved. I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Doubt it. Fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Go! Let's go to the Planet of the Apes! Yes, don't say no, say yes. Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. Woo! Oh, we can talk again? I have to tell Brooke I'm going with you to the movies instead. I'll text you later. Wait. Were you hitting on another girl? Were you cheating on me? Oh, I can't. Un well, I can't undo that. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, I'm standing like point blank in his face. Max, it's over here. Warren. Wow, nothing. Okay. Do 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 do. Sure, let's thank him still. Oh yes. And continue. Even though you keep going. Yep. An old. I bet. Da da. Don't get involved. He's dangerous. I don't want you to get involved. You got me there, but lay low. Nathan Prescott is going to get his karma soon. You're fucking weak. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday. Oh, he has the same response. So I guess that doesn't matter. And if I say no? No, I don't think I can concentrate on going out to the movies. I just feel like escaping. Fine. Fine. I'm dirty human. I'll go eat myself. No, I have to see if Brooke wants to go into the drive-in, Max. Maybe I'll see you later. So that's the choices. So either I go with him or Brooke goes with him. And he has a... Is that a... Oh, it... is that like... It's a box that says meow on his shirt. Stop rotating there. There's a Schrodinger's box that kind of tells you the cat's alive. Well, let's go back. And we're going to go on a date with him. Because he took a punch in the face for us. Max, the least you can do is give him a chance. Lauren. Whoop, 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 whoop. By the whoop. Oh, yeah. Keep going. Whee. Even though you... And we're just going to keep with that, because I don't think these really make a difference. It doesn't matter what we tell them, I don't think. You're fucking weak. And we're going to say yes again. Well, that and that will be our final decision. I hate decisions. Boop. Oh, no football kick over the goalposts. Field goal, whatever. To Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. I uh, probably Kate, and he's just a douche. Oh, do we get to hop on a school bus? That's gonna be a first. Wait, have we ever been to her home? Wait, no, she lives in the dorm. Wait. Oh, I guess that's behind the bus driver. I'm like, the bus driver's haircut keeps changing. 
Where are we going? Now we're just gonna run up to some more music. Still have to say, I love the music that's in this. I might have to plan a trip to Arcadia now, since it actually happens to be near me in some manner. More like a six hours away, but still. Because I want to know how accurate this place is without searching the internet. Or you're in a place where you don't even have to pump your own gas. So she happens to have a shirt of her spirit animal. Don't fall asleep. Wake up. This is actually pretty cool seeing all these places. Do I get to see all these places when I'm walking around? That would be awesome. No, no dark, no dark. Stop the bus. Let me off. No. Don't feed seagulls rice. Good note to self. Oh, yes, we're going to the diner. That's right. We're going to meet uh Chloe. And the bus just happens to say, "Yeah, we're going to go drop you off right there." That's fine. Can I walk around? Can I walk around? Can I walk around? It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. What? Be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk time. about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? Well, the you could have hopped on the school bus. Isn't working. I just got off the school bus, but I'm sure the regular bus is coming too. Oh, that's a relief. <laughs> I can't be late for this job interview. I can't believe I have to take a bus all the way to Newport just to find a second job. Ouch, that, that is quite a distance. Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks, I sure need it. Well, doesn't matter what I tell her. Hello, old man. No time for chit-chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep, got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. I bet he's seen a lot of changes to our case. I don't believe yours is. Time. Oh, wait, Chloe. Oh, you're running late and I'm already here? Well, pfft, to you. Better make it by noon. You say by noon? That's like three hours and 20 minutes away. I don't think he actually has a winning lottery ticket. So many people think they do. Wait, the diner is that way, so I want to go I this way. Go way. No! I want to go that way! Stop telling me what I want! Well, let's search everything, just in case, because I don't want to miss anything like in the last chapter. Because that may have screwed over the world! I may have doomed us all! Wait, isn't this thingy again? What the hell? It is! Obviously, nobody took my advice. Kind of creepy. And it did show a thing about the guy. Oh, stop that. Stop. No barky. No barky. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. There's that dirty RV from the other day. Barky, barky. Come on. Come on. Wake up, man. Deal with your dog. No, 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 no. Grrr. I have a donut to throw at you. Oh, a cinder block. Puppy want a cinder block? No. Probably the guy wants a cinder block. Last thing we need to do is have like a horror film where the guy's chopping up bodies in the RV. Oh look, are you selling stuff? Save all city. Flyers, look. Look at all these flyers. It's so sad that nobody will read them. Because I can only read the font. We saw the lifeblood of Arcadia Bay. Save our bay. And the man-made drought in the bay. Don't worry, sir. I'm here to prophesize to you of a giant tornado. Good morning. 
Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Oh, what happened? Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems By like Odin's beard. Ago when I was king of the harbor. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. Harbor rights? So they, like, really own everything? The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay. If that tells you much. What if this person made this game to, you know, make fun of the people that have bought up all the rights if this really happened? Do you know them? Do good for my working kind. I know them through their bad deeds. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. <laughs> I'd love to learn more, Ew. but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Into traffic! Nope, I don't want to go there. Why not? I don't want to go that way. I do. You're so dumb. Oh, another person. Let's go talk to them. Man. Ooh, I can read the newspaper. Snow. Well, that's a good start to the story. <laughs> Weather service baffled by snow. In a rare admission, the National Weather Service has yet to come up with a conclusive reason for the unusual snowfall that briefly hit Arcadia Bay, Oregon, this week. Sir. Sir. Sir, would you like some Girl Scout cookies? Excuse me. Sir? Can you believe this town? Where'd your the paper go? on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Cloud! Ooh, that sounds fascinating. The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep reading how Arcadia Bay is booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. And if you went missing, what about that, hmm? You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Oh, well, you haven't seen my town. <laughs> homeless. Not homeless guy, just homeless. Well, let's check the homeless first. Hello, sir. How's your cardboard box Hello. treating you? Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. I know all about Blackwell and this town. Like? Uh, let's go with... The Prescott family. I bet you have dirt on the Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Like anything in their way. I know somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. Almost? What about here? How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb, made mistakes, got cheated out of my savings, lost my home, and now I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I she disappears. But Arcadia Bay is still my home. Oh? You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. Yep, we know him. David Madison. Let's talk about Chloe. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. 
Do you know anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Was she alone a lot or with friends? Like I said, she seemed tight with Joyce's daughter. I thought I saw her with an older gent one time. Maybe her dad. Wait, wasn't there something That's about a terrible thing for a parent to deal with? Wasn't she hanging out with someone and then she disappeared? Right. But you can't save everybody. I control time, bitch. I can save the world. Come talk to me any old time you want, young lady. Okay. Anything else? Bricks? Fridge? Oh, that's a good place for trash. In a broken fridge. Ooh. Whoa, wait. was that and where? Let's rewind. No, no, stop, stop. I didn't mean to go back that far. Shit. Oh. Damn it. Let's go talk to her again. I don't know if that was important, but we're gonna talk to her. Hello. Yes, I... I could... Fast forward. You might... She's... And let's find out what she thinks of David Madison. His name Madsen. is David Madison. He told me to get a job once. Asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. It's like he is. I have to go. Hi, I'm back again. Sure looks that way. Oh, so he just let me talk to her about everything? I'm so I'm just going to make sure that she talks I about everything. La 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 what changes to the town? Ones it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell? So just some more words. Goodbye. Okay. Let's see the siren. Hello? Jump in front of the shark! Oh, you suck at jumping. What's in here? Nope, I don't want to go there. Psh. Okay, there has to be the siren again. Hello? I want to hear the siren again. Ah. What was that sound? I heard something. Oh, this is dumb. Can't sit still. Nothing. 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 Oh, poop. Whoa. Is that me? No. There's nothing over there to investigate. I don't know why I can't go back there. Hello, how do you do? Whoa. Oh, I thought the car was driving really fast. Hello, truck. Goodbye, truck. Come on. There was a siren at one point. Really, you're not going to let me see a siren? There's a police car right over there, isn't there? Kick him off his bike! Bah. Bacon and eggs, only five ninety-five. Eggs and steak and steak and eggs. Ba -doo, ba -doo, Man, ba -doo, I smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware. 
Makes me feel 13 again. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you crack me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Ooh. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. What about you, Mr. Sir? Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Yeah. We just I talked about you like two feet away. Room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, man. me while I get back to my coffee. Smash your head against the counter. That doesn't look like it matters. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Really? Oh look a cop. Or grilled mac and cheese. Grilled mac and cheese. I've never had grilled mac and cheese. Uh, let's start here. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? Because he's an ass. He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. <laughs> Don't want him to be a cop is the way it sounds so, like from you. you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. <sighs> Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. Really? Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said that we belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe. You're kidding else. me. I, it's, that's <laughs> just so <kidding>. dumb. <laughs> Besides, David Madsen's watching me. Delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our our mother. I have to go now. Enjoy your breakfast. It always seems like abrupt way, endings to conversations. I have to go. Is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. No, I don't. Wise policy. The guy who.
Mr. Dude. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Never. Hello, fisherman. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Ouch. Now let me mourn over my eggs. You're like not even eating your food. Weird lady. Really? Okay. Sounds like my kind of people. Hello there to you. Such ah. a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy uh, <laughs> it's just a little too creepy. There is my own limits. Joyce! Hello! Fine, I'll go take over a booth. But at this point, I'm gonna call it. Even though it doesn't seem like I did a whole lot. Still within that glorious time frame. Uh, well, if you're having fun, push the buttons, do the things, make me happy, and I'll catch you folks in a moment in the next one.